Hello guys, here is Roman from Tentech. Today I'm gonna take you through the process of creating a render of this scene with a pine tree and some other small features. At first I'm gonna select everything in the scene with A and delete it. I'm gonna add a new circle and decrease the vertices to 8 because we don't need that much. I'm gonna switch into side view, go into edit mode and extrude it in the set direction. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and extrude it again. To add a bunch of details, I'm gonna select the vertice, split it with V and move it in the XY direction. I'm going back into side view again, select the vertice and select the whole body with L and duplicate it with Shift D. I'm gonna repeat this step with Shift R a bunch of times. Now the tree looks a little bit too symmetric, so I'm gonna change the sizing of it. I'm gonna go into proportional edit mode and I'm gonna scale down. Play around with it a little bit until you're happy. Now I'm gonna select the individual objects with L, go out of proportional editing mode and rotate it in the set direction. I want my tree to be tilted to the left, so I'm gonna select the vertice, go to proportional editing mode again and select linear. Now I'm gonna rotate it in the Y direction. To make the top closed I'm gonna select the edge loop, go out of proportional editing and scale it down. Now we can switch back to object mode. I'm gonna add a solidify modifier, for that you need to go in the modifier tab, add modifier, solidify. I want it to be a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna increase it. Now I see that I didn't close the top as much as I needed to, so I'm going back to edit mode and scale it down a little bit more. At this stage we are done with the leaves of the tree, so we need to add the trunk. For that I'm gonna switch back into side view, go into edit mode and add a circle. I'm gonna scale it down and move it down a little bit. To see what I'm doing I'm gonna switch into wireframe mode with shift set. I'm gonna extrude the trunk in the set axis and scale it down. I'm gonna add some loop cuts to deform the trunk and move them in the x-axis. Now I can go out of wireframe mode again. Gonna close the bottom and scale it a little bit. For the coloring I'm gonna go into materials tab Add a new material and select my desired color. To see it you can switch to material view and adjust it to your liking. As you can see the trunk is green too, we don't want it. So we're gonna go back into edit mode, select the trunk with L, add a new material, make it brown and assign it. Now we are done with the tree. I want to add some smaller features to make the scene more complete. For that I'm gonna hide the tree. I'm gonna add a new icosphere, decrease the subdivisions to 1 and go into edit mode. I'm gonna turn on proportional editing and switch it to smooth and select one vertice 
and move it. Do this until you're happy. I want my stone to have a flat bottom, so I'm gonna select the bottom faces and scale it to set zero. Now I'm gonna add a new material, make it gray. And we have a stone. I'm gonna hide it too. I want some grass, so I'm gonna add a new cube. Go into edit mode, go into side view. And I'm gonna switch to wireframe. Select the top, move it up, extrude it, make it smaller, extrude it again, make it smaller until you're happy. That's a little bit straight for grass, so I'm gonna move it around a little bit. When I'm happy, I'm gonna go back to object mode and duplicate it. Scale it. And move it around in edit mode a little bit more. Do this until you have a bunch of objects. I'm happy with it now, so I'm gonna go into side view and make sure they are on the same level. I want to adjust the position a little bit, so I'm gonna move it on the X, Y. If I'm happy with it, I'm gonna select all of those, join it with Ctrl J and hide it. The last object I'm gonna make is a little mushroom. For that I'm gonna add a circle, go into edit mode and extrude it three times. I select the top in wireframe mode, extrude it along the normals. Select the top loop and fill it and move it up. Adjust the positioning of things until you're happy. Gonna add a bevel here and add a loop cut on the bottom to move it up. I'm not happy with the stem. So I'm gonna adjust the position, make it a little bit bigger on the bottom. And make it a little bit smaller. At last I'm gonna fill the bottom and you're done with our mushroom. I'm gonna select all the faces that need to be brown and add a new material, make it brown and hit assign. Then I'm gonna invert the selection, add a new material, make it a little bit darker and assign. Now we have a mushroom. I'm gonna unhide all the objects with Alt H. I'm selecting the grass to add a new material, make it green. Nice. Those objects are way too big, so I'm gonna scale them down. I'm 
Gonna switch to side view mode. And then I'm gonna position them. I'm gonna duplicate if I want more of them. Adjust the size and rotate it a little bit. If you're happy with it, we can go to the rendering. For the rendering, I'm gonna add a new plane. Move it down. And scale it. Go into edit mode, select an edge and extrude it. Select this edge, bevel it, and adjust the bevel resolution with the mouse wheel. And add a fancy material. I'm gonna make mine grey. Add a camera. Move into it with zero on the numpad. Go to the view tab, camera to view to position it. I just realized that my background is rotated the wrong way, so I'm gonna rotate it. Now for the lightning, we're gonna add an environment texture. You can download those on websites like Polyhaven. I'm gonna link it in the description. For that you need to move to the World tab and switch from color to environment texture. And add the one that you downloaded. To check if everything worked, you can switch to render view. And you should have a texture in the background minus a house. You can preview your materials. I'm gonna adjust the roughness a little bit. If you are happy with it, switch to cycles. Look at it again. Looks great to me, so I'm gonna hit render and check it out. And I'm finished with it. If you're happy with your work, well done, you created a low poly scene in Blender. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you next time. Thanks for watching.